Yo, 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 it's Bodega Bams, a.k.a. Poppy, a.k.a. Young Don Francisco, and I'm here with Concrete Loop. Sign up, tune in, read about it, hear about it. East side of Spanish Harlem, ten boys, wanna keep front, it. I ain't got a yet, ain't got a condo, ain't got a shack. What's up, guys? It's Marjo at ConcreteLoop.com, and today we're talking with my man's Bodega Bams. Thanks for coming by. How you doing? Cool. So, so why Bodega Bams? How'd you come up with that name? Uh, about, I would say about like, my first recording ever in the studio, I made a song called Welcome to Bodega Bams. At the time, my name was Nate Bams. So, the song is about a dude that works in a bodega. So I just, I, I, so I mean, I was like, you know what? That I'm, I'm a switch. Instead of being Bams Bodega, I'm gonna switch it. I'm gonna put the Bodega in front of Bams and take out the Nate. So. All right. What does it mean to be a tan boy? Explain that movement. What does it mean to be a tan boy? I mean, it means to be beautiful. You know what I'm saying it means to be powerful. You know what I mean, if you're a tan boy, the ladies love you. you know what I'm saying most of them love you. All, all backgrounds love you. You know what I'm saying. Uh, and just repping your culture correctly, you know what I'm saying? Like just repping your culture right, you know what I mean? Because I feel like I feel like we the voice of the voiceless. I feel like we haven't been spoken to correctly for a very long time. So that's why I feel like that's that's what we were put here to do. Will I go to hell? I ain't trying to find out, so I need forgiveness. Holy Some of your videos give off a religious connotation. From Bobby to say amen. Does religion play a role in your life? Definitely. Is the more is the major role in my life. I don't go to church no more, but you know, I'm I, I don't want people to think that. It's a gimmick. I don't want people to think that this is gimmicky. That I'm using a lot of religion. I'm very like spiritual. You know what I'm saying like I, I, I believe in God. I believe in hell. I believe in heaven. All that. And um, growing up, I grew up in a Christian background. Going back to putting on for your culture, to you, what does it mean to be Latino in the rap game today? It means a great deal. You know, being that that we don't have too many, and the ones that we do don't really speak up. So I mean, it, it, I, I, it's powerful. You know what I'm saying? It's a rarity. Because, you know, like I said, we haven't been spoken for in such a long time. So the fact that I get the opportunity to speak and to, to push my culture first before I push myself, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed and I'm, and I'm appreciative for the opportunity. What music are you listening to now that inspires you? I, I listen to the same music we always listen to. Like, I, I, like I, first of all, I don't listen to a lot of new rap. I, want, like, I don't listen to a lot of new rap. And, and that, the reason why I don't listen to a lot of new rap is because I don't want to sound like nobody. How do you feel about Kendrick Lamar saying that he's the king of New York? I mean, I, I mean, I don't feel no kind of way towards that. Like, you can't, um, you can't blame Son for saying that. You know what I mean? Like, you know, he killed Summer Jam. You know what I'm saying? He, um, he, 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 he got a record with Jay Z, who is the king of New York. You know what I mean? So you can't blame him. Somebody made it comfortable for him to say that. Going back to sounding like everyone, is that the reason why you remain independent? Because you don't, you would have to change with major label? I, I, I mean, yeah, one of the reasons. Another reason why I remain independent because, because um, I'm not gonna sign to a label unless it's life changing money. Unless, unless, unless once I sign that dot, on that dotted line, it changes my life completely and my family, then I sign. Okay. Um, Rock the Bells, California, how you feeling? Feeling great, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. People keep on telling me it's a good look and shit like that. Like, it, it takes me, it takes me longer to um, to to prepare myself and to really value it. You know what I mean? I don't want to sound like I'm not appreciative. It's just like my mind is so much on different shit. Like I'm always racing my mind that I can't really sit down and be like, wow, I'm gonna rock the bells. You know what I'm saying? But I know as soon before I hit that stage, I'm gonna get nervous. And then when I get off that shit, I'm gonna really, I'm gonna fully understand like, wow, I really got to rock the bells. I've only been popping for like a year, and I've got an opportunity. Them good, the good dudes that rock the bells gave me the opportunity, and I, I'm just gracious for that. Like that shit is awesome. Love it. Talk a little bit about the Better Off Dead North American tour with Flatbush Zombies. Yeah, um, I can't wait for that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's six weeks. I ain't never been on tour before. Nice. So that's, that's yeah, thank you. So that's going to be my first time on tour. I'm happy that they gave me the opportunity to go on my first tour. And that shit going to be crazy because if you've been to our shows, like that shit is like turn up all around. Like it ain't, it's no, it's no turn down, it's turn up all around. Speaking of women, I follow you on Twitter, so I know the ladies love you. What is the craziest thing a fan, a female fan, has said or done to you? I had a show in SOBs, actually with Flatbush Zombies. It was a Hot 97 Who's Next. And um, I was performing, and a woman threw yellow panties at me. Yeah. Nice. Did you keep it? 
I lost them. Is it hanging up? I, but if you, there's some you pictures know? around. I mean, there's a video where you, they, they put like a little document, like a little interview together, and they have my performance, and you see me rapping. And what the girls say on Twitter and, and on Instagram, I like, I be telling my mom this shit, cause my mom be watching my Instagram too. And she be like, she be like, Nathaniel, like. <laughs> These girls, they love you. Why they do that? I'm, I be telling them, like, yo, ma, listen. The, the reason why they do that is most of the time is because they know they probably never gonna see me physical, physically. What's the one model you live by? What's the one model we 100 keep it? What does that mean? It's keep it 100 backwards. I created that. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to me. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's 100 keep it. Shout out to Concrete Loop. Yeah, this is dope, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never went to one Scissor Park. You know what I mean? But this is. <laughs> This is hot, man. You know what I'm saying? Word up.